Hi, welcome back to Lens Pro. I'm going to do a completely white faced costume for you, as in all over white, and then some kind of dark, dripping eye. Um, yeah. And from there, I guess we'll just go from there. I don't know what's going to happen. And um, so I have my eyebrows already glued down because they're not going to be there, hopefully. And um, let's see, I primed my skin with some YSL. Uh, I wanted to say glittery primer, but I know how to say it. It is the YSL Toshiclad Blur Clim uh, Climber Primer. So that's what I used all over my skin, um, just to make it more pliable. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to use, uh, you can use grease paint, uh, white Halloween paint, um, that is, um, always available, a light foundation, um, anything really, really light or really, really white. I'm going with this, um, the white in the foundation adjuster palette in white so I'm gonna put it all over my skin I don't know how many layers it's gonna take because I've never done it with this white I've always done it with like a clown makeup but um we're gonna try it with this so let's get started I'd like to apologize because all the lighting in this is a little bit too bright and I don't know if it was because of the white or just because I had my lights turned up too high. But I'm using a brush, just a flint foundation brush, to apply this all over my face. The white uh, foundation, that is. The RCMA foundation was really, really smooth and blended really nice onto my skin. And it really did, as I was putting the layers on... Uh, blended really nice. It didn't ever cake up onto my skin. It really sat well and just actually started blending more into my skin and looked more realistic as my skin. So this is one coat of foundation or one layer. And you can see it's thin in spots. I'm going to let this set for about maybe one minute and I just kind of blended it with what was left just right down the way down my neck and I got both ears and um, then I'll start building it onto my brows which are gonna look kind of gray um, so that's what I oh my teeth look so yellow okay so I have just used my spatula and just did a real thick layer on here and just patched it in there into my brows and then taking my brush and just blending it into the skin. After I coated my brows with um, the foundation, I wanted to add more of the white foundation to my skin. So I continued to add more and more white foundation till the undertones of my skin were finally gone. And I just had that really nice coat of that snow white foundation. And you can see here on part of my um, cheek where I've added the second layer for the depth of the white and then the the first coat so I've gotten it as white as I want it and um, now I'm going to powder with um, a no color powder because that's what I have but ideally to make it more white and if I was going out like in a costume I would bring this all the way down around down past my collar and um, depending on how much work I wanted to put into I might do my shoulders or um, I probably wouldn't do my arms unless it was a like a contest, a costume contest. But I'm going to take um, a no color powder, but a white lo loose powder would be even better. I'm looking around crazy because I can't find my little sponge. Uh, a sponge would be best to not brush it with a, um, a brush. You want to pack it on to not make it move. Like on my eyes, it's already moving. So I'll... Fix that. 
You cannot have too much powder. Just put the loose powder on a palette or even like a piece of paper towel or foil and just keep packing it on. It was everywhere. It was all over my shirt, all over my face, all over my hands. But you just keep packing it on until it's just falling off of your skin. Because you want this white to stay where it is. Especially on your eyebrows and your eyes. It just, it's going to, you want it to, you're basically setting the white skin color powder. Skin color foundation. And so by setting it with the powder, it's not going to go anywhere. And it'll stay, your face won't crack, your pores won't come through, and it'll look great all night long. This is where I'm starting to line the waterline of my eyes with a red cream color and I'm using a flat brush to do it just a little skinny flat um, eyeliner brush and I'm doing it on the underside of my waterline on the top and I'm going to do it just a like a thin messy line on the um, actually the top of the lash line but you don't um doesn't have to be real like neat and tidy you want it to just be kind of messy because it's not about like how that looks it's just to give you this um different contrast of a color against that white stark eye I'm going less for a perfect lash line and more of a <clears throat> like an irritated <clears throat> excuse me my throat artistic um I'm even painting some of um excuse me <clears throat> some of my lashes um red at the base. So here's where I've started doing the underside of my eyes, so that's this black waterfall look I want to get. I started out with a black um, MAC liquid liner, and I kind of watered it down a little bit to get this look that I wanted um, originally to start out, um, but it was a little bit chalky, so I just kind of did the um, undersides and the waterline of my lashes and tried to sketch out some of where I was going with this look with that flat liner brush and just really do and um, you know just start out getting the underside of my lashes and right underneath my lash line um, real black and messy and try to get the right on the corners of both lash lines the lines I wanted to start out with and then I actually switched to a different product so when I switched products, I actually thinned it down and then it was much easier to create that liquid look I wanted because I had a liquid product to use. And I actually switched brushes too and had a little bit different angle on it and it had um it could hold a lot more product. So I had the like viscosity that I needed to create this dripping look and um as I was putting the product on the brush I just created um, the lines I wanted to use to carry the product down my face and then I really let gravity do the rest I didn't have like a set pattern that I wanted to use except I wanted to make the the black look like it was um, literally flowing out of my eye which at first I thought oh this is a great c concept I'd seen it done before but it wasn't as easy as it looked and um, so I had to literally put enough product on there that it would flow down but stop flowing at the same time so I just kept adding um, a little bit by little bit of drops um, onto my like little rivulets um, of the pattern that I was trying to create and then um, as I'm creating the pattern I ended up 
changing it every once in a while because I wanted it to go down or it was looking too solid. It looked more like a triangle rather than a drip pattern. And so um, it's something that you can really create and make your own. And you can make it look as terrifying as you want it. Um, and if you had, um, I say this later in the video, if you had maybe an eyedropper or some type of um, very small drop device, it um, you could look at, maybe make it look a little bit more unique and not as um not as much of a pattern as I um had created here with my look so as I was doing the other side of my face it was I don't know if the angle of my hand made it much more different or I just it was the second time I'd done it but it was just perfect and it ended up so much easier and faster but my pattern came to me so much quicker and easier and I don't know if it's the whole practice makes perfect thing but adding my little drops and pieces came so much more natural so I have to say that if you're trying this look um, for an occasion or a party do it once before and then do it the night of that you're thinking and it would be definitely easier the second time around because I know just doing the second eye was much more easier and kind of gave me the look that I wanted more so than the first eye. I used the RCMA um, foundation thinner so I could get that um, liquid drip that I needed. You could do this with paint if you wanted to, but, um, the makeup's going to dry and it'll wear light. Um, and you don't have to worry about it, um, damaging your eyes. Um, it's, it doesn't, it doesn't hurt. I got it. I got it all in my, I can literally paint it into mine. It doesn't, it doesn't hurt. Um, then it does make for a neat effect because it does go up into your, um, waterline with the red so it does kind of have a cool effect um so i'd be finished with this makeup look myself i'd be happy with it um it has it has a really neat effect if you could get scalera dark if i said that right um dark contacts or red contacts would be real neat with this um or even just a white out contact um sorry that black is there you go i had to blink it out it was running like up through my eye but, um, yeah, I just watered it down and I used a, um, just a brush that had a little bit of a, a bend to it so I could drop it. But if you had, like, an eyedropper, it wouldn't take nearly as long. So, um, again, thanks for coming by. And um, you're watching Lens Pro. So, uh, if you want to follow me, I'm uh, Lost Without Paint on Instagram. Or my Facebook is exclusively Lindsay Howell. I know it's a mouthful. So, follow or like me on any of those and subscribe for more videos. And thanks for watching. And if you have, uh, let me know if you do this look or... Um, and send me the pictures and or link it below or whatever so uh, this is still dripping so this is gonna be really cool when it dries because I think this one over here is still is still dripping a little but it was really fun to do because this is such a low maintenance look like you could um throw this together really quick and wear like all black or um even like a hood or a cape or something um and anyways have fun and I hope you enjoyed this look and I will see you next time. Thanks.